guys welcome to my channel my name is Avia thank you for joining me in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of wet and wild um, wet and wild recently came out with a new zodiac collection which I thought was so cute because I'm so over the unicorns and mermaids and all that stuff so I'm just so excited that somebody came out with something other than that and um, my birthday is coming up so I wanted to rep for the Virgos out there so I went to Walmart and I picked up a couple of items um, just a couple I didn't pick up everything and I was like why not do a full face using wet and wild so I picked up a couple of more items I had to go to someplace else to pick up a foundation color because I didn't have a foundation that I could wear at Walmart but um if you want to see how I got this look please keep watching all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna start with the retractable brow pencil in dark brown this is like three dollars I don't know if I like this this is, this is very thick I'm gonna have to do some major cleanup work with this. It does come with a brush at the end, so that's nice. I'm gonna clean this up with some concealer. Um, I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in medium deep tan. This is the darkest shade that they had. So I got this from Walmart. This is the darkest shade they had in my Walmart, but. Both of the Walmarts by me, Shade Run, it's pretty shitty. So they might actually do come with some, they might actually come with some darker shades. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to be using the new eyeshadow palette that came out based off the Zodiac signs. Your girl is a Virgo, so I had to get the Earth. I didn't get all of them because this was the only one I was interested in color wise even if it wasn't just the earth one the fire one was nice but I have enough warm and red eyeshadow so I just decided to get this earth one and um this is how it comes all shimmers no mattes which I mean whatever I have other matte shadows that I like so the fact that this doesn't come with mattes it's whatever the only thing that really bothers me is the fact that these are all touching so I'm just a little 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 bit nervous that um it's gonna cause some problems but I mean we'll see um I have, I'm gonna use this wet n wild palette right here called rose in the air and I'm gonna use the matte shadows out of here. And for my transition, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this dark, darker orange one right here. Hold on, let me see these numbers. Number three, I think. Yeah, number three. Whoa. Okay, I was not expecting that. Holy hell. Woo. And I barely tap my hand in here. This is some, yeah, baby. And I'm gonna bring it a little, what's left over in my brush to my inner corner. Actually, I'm gonna go back into this right here. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna grab this brown color and put it on the outer of my eye and the rest of it on the inner. And I'm just kind of tapping it in here. Go back in with the concealer. Just add a dot. Kind of blender. Now I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna go into this beautiful green color. And I'm just gonna tapper on there oh my god this is so pretty this is so this is such a pretty green it's like an emerald it's very pretty back with my first brush and dab it into the brown just a little bit and kind of blend them together to kind of get rid of that harsh line Actually, now that I think about 
now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to bring this green all the way in to my inner corner. I'm just gonna fill it all. I'm gonna use a brown coal liner to line my waterline. I haven't used one of these in a while, so this might take a minute. Add a little mascara, the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. We are going to finish the eyes later. Now let's move on to the face. Now I picked up this um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, Face Primer Matte. I picked this up, I used it once. I don't know how I feel about it. Whoa. Was it like this the last time? Look how big this hole is. Am I tripping or did this thing break? Okay. Oh, well maybe the hole was this big. Well regardless, um, it kind of reminds me of, the smell kind of reminds me of El Elmer's glue, like school glue. Maybe not, I don't know. But it's definitely like a lotion consistency. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm gonna use it. Yeah, it smells like Elmer's school glue. Okay, next I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Mahogany. This is actually the darkest shade that they have. Um, that they had. Um, it was not in my Walmart, which has usually all of the Wet n Wild products. The darkest they went to was like a medium beige, which was some bullshit. But I knew that I seen it in CVS, so I went to CVS to pick this up. And I just picked the darkest shade because I feel like if it's too dark, I can work with it. If it's too light, not so much. So we shall see. Let me read some of the claims. It says, goodbye photo flashback helps eliminate white particle reflections. Oh. Oh, okay. It's like a spatula. That smells like paint. A very strong paint finish. All right, let me blend this in first. Using my big Real Techniques sponge. I need a new one. Lord, she been through some things. I thought I had an extra one, but I did not. <laughs> this is really red. It dries down so fast. Oh my God. Get down to my neck to try to match this. Okay, she's it's really orange I don't know if you can tell on camera but like in real life she's orange um other than the color like the finish is a very matte finish it dried very very fast there's not a lot of transfer which is nice but this color y'all need to work on this because y'all eyeshadows is banging Anyways, let's um let's try to help this out with some concealer, which is also the wrong color. <laughs> oh my god, my pores. You can see, look how big my freaking pores look. Oh hell. Oh hell no. Y'all see this shit? I'm scared. That shit was like, hello pores, oh my god. I did not have a shade to contour with. All of their little contour sticks look like they were my shade, which I actually probably should have grabbed those and used those as a foundation. Then I wouldn't be looking like number 45 right now. But so I'm just gonna use what I usually do use to contour. I need to do something because I'm not feeling this so far. 
Now I actually played myself a couple years ago buying the bronzer from Wet n Wild because it was hella cheap and of course it was way too light so I'm just gonna use something else that I know will work. I'm gonna work on this dryness because my face looks really dry and I'm gonna spray some Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, in natural finish. I usually do matte finish but I wanted to try something different. I'm gonna go back into the first palette, the Rose and Air, and I'm gonna use that first shade again, the number three, and dust it on my um, bottom lash line. Then I'm gonna go back into the Earth Eyeshadow Palette and use this beautiful bronze shade right here and place that on, and place that on top of that, um, that orange shade. And I wet my brush a little. And last for the eyes, this really, really bright gold as my inner, inner, inner turd duck. She's pretty. She kind of has a green tint to her. She... I don't know if it's my backdrop or that just has like a, a green tint to it. This is pretty. So I'm gonna bring this out. Oh. Okay, Wet n Wild Earth highlighter. So I have picked up two of the highlighters. I picked up Earth because Earth represents Virgo and I picked up fire because I like this color the other two air and water water um, blue highlighter it's a no and then air I don't remember what it looked like but I felt it was too light so I'm going to start off using earth Let's see what she looks like she looked like she might be too light too but we'll see I'm about to put fire on top. This is this is like more of a rose gold. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these highlighters. I'm gonna tone that down. I went a little I went a little overboard, guys. My bad. Okay, so out of the three Walmarts that I went to, I could not find Virgo lip gloss for nothing. I the only ones they had left were Crazy Gemini's. Aquarius, I think I saw some Libras, Capricorn, and maybe a Taurus, but those were the only ones that they had left. So I just picked up the two that I liked, the two colors that I liked, which was Aquarius and Crazy Geminis. So I'm just gonna put these two on. I'm gonna use that same brown coal thing on my lips, cause I'm probably never gonna use this on my eyes again. This is Aquarius color. It's like a pinky. Nude with gold flecks. Let me put this in the center. It might be cute. We're gonna set it off with some setting spray. So for the foundation, the finish is fine. I like the finish. I like the fact that there's not a lot of transfer, but the color is a no. The highlighters, yeah. This, I loved. I love this. And I also loved this one too. I'm actually going to go probably pick up some more of these because they had like three or four different other color combinations and I might actually go back and get um, another one of these because I really really like this um, the lip glosses was nice I mean you see this one I don't like this is too much Gemini is too much for me it's too much it's like gold but this one I did like it's nice um, concealer nah eyebrow no spray I liked primer Nah, um, 
everything else was okay. Mascara, it was alright. It's a mascara. Other than that, I'm cool. It's Gucci.